It's hard to imagine, but there are 15,000 kids in Tarrant County without a home. That alarming number was just released in a new study, and researchers say it's enough to fill 27 elementary schools in Fort Worth ISD. Bradley Blackburn discovered why you don't always see this problem in plain sight. Okay, so this is the messy bedroom. Inside this one room. Uh, my clothes. Random containers. Inside these four walls. The luxurious bathroom I cook every single day. Is everything Shannon and her dolls and 12 year old daughter Peyton have. They're living in this $210 a week motel in Arlington and making the most of it. You take for granted the small things like an oven. Because it is better than where they've so been. Going from the shelter, um, having nothing. Some days this is a castle, this is a sanctuary. I'm happy I have it instead of nothing. More people are living like this than you would ever imagine. It was staggering. That new report from the Center for Transforming Lives found 15,000 homeless kids in Tarrant County. It's far higher than traditional counts that only look for families in shelters or camps. Women with children do not want to be in camps. Many of the children under the age of six, but there are older kids too homeless teens on their own. It's a big number. Wayne Carson with ACH sees them walk in his door at their shelter. Oh, just because we say we're glad you're here and we have a good place for you to be, uh, they don't always believe us. Homelessness can impact a child for life. We know that toxic stress has a permanent impact on the brain. This is our dining room. Shannon wants a better life for Peyton. She knows that some may judge her. People will look and say, oh, or how, how dare you have a child, you know, in a motel. Well, she's with me and I'm doing the very best that I can. So we bought um, a little stove. She is not alone. So many kids and families trying to. We can get real creative. In Tarrant County, I'm Bradley Blackburn.